Hi everyone. Today I wanted to demonstrate one more concept in plugins. So I have uh, two entities, customer information and power bills. I have a customer with name Ashok Dynamics. Let me open this account. It has uh, this email phone number fields and it also has the power bills. So I will be creating a new power bill on this Ashok Dynamics name. So let me create a new power bill. I will be selecting Ashok as my customer. Uh, my plugin, wh what does my plugin does is as soon as I select this customer, uh, the phone number related to Dynamics, this should be populated in this field. That is what my plugin does. I have written a code for this. Yeah, this is a code which will be retrieving the data from the from the customer information. This will be retrieving and uh, that will be populating in the power bills. This is how I have created a plugin for the create operation. So let me now go back to my instance. So let me select some start date. This should be populated, right? Let me leave it blank. This is 100 units. Let me save it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess some, there's some error in plugin. So it is giving me some error. Some error occurred. Please check. Uh, some key is not found in the dictionary. Okay. Let me try to debug the plugin for now. I'll be closing this. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain how to debug your plugin. First, go to your plugin registration tool. Here you have an option to install profiler. I have already installed. That is that is why it's it, uh, it is not showing me option. It is showing me uninstall profiler. But but it if uh, if it is the first time to you, it will be showing as install profiler. Once click on that and install profiler. So uh, once installation is done complete uh, is successful, then then go to this assembly and uh, not assembly go. Now this is my plugin. Once the installation is successful, go back to this step and right click on this start profiling. Yeah. I'll be selecting exception for now uh, and click OK. OK, now the step will be under profiling. If you see, it's under profiling. Now, next, you go back to your instance. I am trying to hard refresh the page. Now, I'm selecting my customer as Ashok Dynamics. Um, Uh, let me click on save. If you see this time, you are getting a different error, business process error, right? See, down, download the details and load into plugin profiler. So let me download this log file. Yeah, I have downloaded this, this log file. Now go back to your plugin registration tool and go, go to your plugin, which you have written. Click on this uh, debug. You'll find an option to attach to process. Click on this process. Here, you select the plugin registration tool which you have downloaded. Let it load. Yeah, I'll be selecting the plugin registration tool. This is my plugin registration tool which I have downloaded. Attach. Okay, now uh, I'll be putting some here. I'll, let me put my breakpoint on dry. Yeah, I have set my breakpoint here. Now go back to your plugin station tool. Click on this debug button. You have downloaded one log file, right? Uh, Download which I have downloaded, selected here. Yeah, this is my error, error file which I have downloaded. You need to select your assembly of your plugin. This is my plugin. Okay, it's done. Now you just click on start execution. This now will be navigated to your Visual Studio. Okay. If you see, you have some LO. This is highlighted in LO. This means your debug, your debugging has started. To see where the error is, you just need to uh, go step by step. For that, you can just click on this button 
or F10. Let me click on this button to show you. Okay, so I'll be clicking on this button. Now, see, now it's going to the next line. Okay, 20. it entered, it took the details. Okay, so once the line got executed, you can see the details here. See, if you see the context.message name is taken as create and everything like that. So let me go to the next line. So it entered into if loop. It means that your power bill contains this entity. Yeah, sorry, your power bill contains this wheel. Okay, next go to this line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you see your execution was successful till 33 line. Till here, it was successful. And after executing this line, after executing this particular line 33, it jammed to catch. So you mean that there's some issue in here. Let me check what is issue. Okay, sorry. Uh, I hope this is not correct. Here is NPM phone number, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, like this, you can debug your code. There's some error I have uh, by mistake put the long, wrong logical name. That is why it is navigating into a uh, catch block. So now let me build it. Okay, I need to stop it before building it. Okay. Now go back to this. Okay, fine, close. Close. I'll be stopping debugging. Stop profiling. Okay. Now go back to this. Build this. This is how you actually debug your plugin code using the plugin profiler. Now I build now. I hope you understand how you how you actually debug your code. Now I'll be checking if it got execute if it will be executed properly. Assembly registered. Okay, now let me go back to my instance and hard refresh page. Okay, now I saved it. The number of Azure Dynamics customer had populated here. This is how you you will be trying to debug your plugin if any error occurred. I hope you understand. Uh, everything is clear for you. Thank you.